everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing we are just a little after sunset the sun is setting the full moon is coming out and I'm gonna do a little dock fishing I'm gonna fish the easiest way it is to fish at night I'm also gonna be throwing some artificials I'll be throwing some lures got a little bit of live bait got mosquitoes all over me but hey thanks for coming back if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go ahead and do so don't forget, like the video, leave a comment, get all these mosquitoes, and you get some off of me. But thanks, thanks for coming back, guys. All right, so the easiest ways to fish, right here. You know, got an overhead light, gonna have to let it cook for a little bit, and then as the light stays on, it's gonna attract bait fish, and the bait fish is gonna attract the more predator fish. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get some fish that comes in, comes in this way. Uh, haven't fished out here in a while. It's kind of warm, got a little bit of a, a warm period last couple days. Water doesn't look bad. The clarity looks good. But, um, like I said, not really too sure what to expect. It might be a grind this evening. But hopefully, you know, around the full moon, you get a nice good tides change. You get fish that are active overnight. Okay, so, hopefully, with the full moon and the activity, the lights will cook up a little bit, heat up a little bit, heat up the bite a little bit, and then we'll be able to get them. I'm a little early, a little ahead of the curve. But, uh, I did want to come out and, uh, and just you know just get the line wet, just chill, have a good time fishing. There we go, got him that time. Let's see what it is, like a little trout maybe. Yeah, little sand trout. Ugh. Little sandy. Mm-hmm. That I thought you might be earlier. Little sand trout. We'll get him off there and get him on his way. First fish of the day night. Little sand trout. Coastal cork. Live shrimp. Cast her right back out. Kind of like where they're hitting is kind of like in between. Like right where the light starts to hit into like the darker area. So that was one little sand trout. Might be all I catch tonight is sand trout, but you know what, I'm gonna have a good time doing it. Let's see if we can get another one. It's good to pop the cork every once in a while. Kind of making a disturbance on the surface. That rattle of the cork as well kind of draws the fish in to uh, predator fish, try to draw the predator fish in, sound like a bait's dying, sound like some, something struggling on the surface, and there we go, right at the same spot again, another sand trout, sand trout, <laughs> another little guy, I think we got another speckler, Oh, yeah, there's a speckler. Yeah, there it goes. That's the... That's the speckle trout. I think we had one on earlier and it got off. This is a little guy. He's probably around... Maybe around 12 inches, maybe maybe 13. But we had one a minute ago and he got off. So... We'll get this guy off here and get him on his way. Hopefully that means the trout are going to start showing up. You know, sometimes the bites like that, they won't start showing up until late, late, or early morning. And, uh, tide just started to turn around a little bit for us, so 
Hopefully that means a little bit of trout are gonna start popping up. All right. So I'm fishing with a Shimano Nasky. It's in the 3000. And uh, a Lose Speed Stick. Medium light. It's a medium, I think it's a medium fast action. Not quite a medium heavy. I like a medium heavy with the cork, but this is the one I have, so using that I'm gonna send it back over there let's see let's see if we get this guy shit Sherlock let's see if we can get him he hit it hard a second ago let's see if he hits it again well the closest I've gotten to a keeper and unfortunately it wasn't recording but uh, he's 14 inches <laughs> oh that's the luck though yeah well I missed that guy I had no idea why my why well, I didn't get the footage of that guy it should have been recording but it happens it happens so I'll just cut that one right out here we're going to cast back there and so we can get a get a little bigger one beautiful night fishing so not the activity or the sizes that we want but hey at least we're out here there's another one oh the same spot kind of another little speck this guy a little smaller I think no just a really feisty sand trout there we go oh that's the one I've been waiting for he feels like a good one probably like 13 maybe 14 inches big old sand trout though Ugh. No, it's a speckler. There we go. That's a little bigger. Yeah, he is uh it's 14 and three quarters. <laughs> 14 and three quarters. I can't quite get to 15. Goodness. Can't quite make it. There we go. Another schooling night. Schoolie. Another speckler. Uh, yeah. Another one. Same spot. There's schooling right there. This guy's gonna be probably about 14. Same as the other ones. Another little 13, 14 incher. Nothing too exciting, but. Still fun, fun, fun. I'm just hoping to get one that's just a, a little bigger. Put it right back in there. Here we go. Let's come up just a little bit. Right there. Let the shrimp fall down. And just wait. Right there, right in the sweet spot. Hopefully he didn't scare the other guys hanging out too much. Hopefully they're sticking around and waiting to take a bite. There we go. There we go, it's on again. Yeah. Uh, about the same size. It might be a little bigger. You're just making a lot of noise, aren't you? You're scaring everything. Yep, he's about the same size. Nope, he is 14 and a half. 14 and a half incher. Thanks for playing.
Well, everybody, that is going to do it. You know, I didn't catch anything spectacular. I came out and I had a good time. I wanted to fish the, uh, you know, we had a full moon, so I wanted to fish the full moon bite. And, you know, it's a little before 1 in the morning. And one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why it was important that I try to fish was because, you know, time restraints. I really couldn't get out yesterday or today and and i couldn't get out the day after like i wanted to so i i had to come out i had to try to fish uh the overnight bite i wanted to fish with some live shrimp underneath the cork the easiest way to fish it really is it's one of the easiest ways to fish and yes you get a lot you get more undesirable fish and you don't have the satisfaction that you normally get or at least i normally get whenever i'm throwing lures but i just love catching fish and well at midnight it turned february 6th and that's my birthday so i wanted to be out in the water on my birthday and i couldn't just don't have the time to do it so one of the ways that i well the only way i became available was to fish in the evening so fished overnight i fished from sunset to probably like around 6 30 to close to one in the morning <laughs> And that's a bit of a grind because of what I produced. But you know what? I had a really good time. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit on my birthday. And I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Like the video. Leave a comment. Share. All that stuff really helps the channel out quite a lot. And helps this video out a lot too. But hopefully next time, you guys, you catch me hooking up. Thanks. <music>